Good to see you.
need your help. Please, find my daughter. Welcome, my friend. I am Tobar the Ferryman, and this fine vessel is the Duchess Gambit. We're just back from Point Lookout, but it won't be long before we set off again. Interested? You look like a man who's been around the waste, so I'll cut right to it. In Point Lookout, you'll find fresh-grown food, mysterious locales, and treasures as of yet unlooted. But keep your wits about you, because you'll find more than a few exotic critters and inhospitable locals. So stay here if you're not man enough. Down south, this side of the bay, there's a soggy strand of beach called Point Lookout. Oh, it's got it all. Ruins of ancient pleasure towns, mysterious swamps bristling with treasure, and all practically untouched by outsiders. But if you're curious, I could offer you a ride over to that faraway land. For a nominal fee, of course. Ah, Nadine. Sprightly little tomboy with more curiosity than common sense, that one. <laughs> Caused so much trouble on the trip that I probably would have thrown her overboard <laughs> if she hadn't reminded me of myself at her age. I haven't seen her since we hit land at Point Lookout. But knowing her, I'll bet she's gotten herself in plenty of trouble. Down south. Oh. You should have seen her back in her heyday. Why, we traveled up and down the coast from the Commonwealth to the Broken Banks. Good times, but these days she's not fit to take out to the coast. Too many spouts ready to drown her and too many critters looking for lunch. But the Point Lookout run is good enough for now. We've got a sweet deal ferrying cargo and the occasional traveler. Looking for fame and fortune? Hoping to cultivate the delicious punga fruit? Or just looking to run away from your life on these dreary shores? All you have to do is come back to me and buy another ticket. Just be careful not to get stranded short on caps, huh? Once you got a ticket, just head into the cabin and settle in on the cot. We'll be there in no time. Let's see what you got to trade. Good stuff, isn't it? Actual healthy food grown in the actual ground and everything! There's a few places out in the point where it grows naturally. One group of tribals have cultivated and refined it, but they're not big on sharing. Don't even ask how I get my hands on the refined crop. A magician never reveals his secrets, does he? Whenever you're ready, just take a rest on the cot in the cabin. We'll be at Point Lookout in no time.
Welcome to Point Lookout, my friend. The trip was fine. The weather's nice and damp, and everything out there looks pleasant as ever. Looks like nothing's changed since my last visit, except all that smoke I saw on the way in. Oh, nothing much, just old Calvert Mansion. Just a huge abandoned estate teeming with who knows what opportunities for profitable scavenging. You know, nothing much. I know I said Point Lookout was perfect for treasure hunters, but it's a rare day when you get a beacon like that. Depends what you're looking for. If you need supplies, head to the shop over at the end of these docks. Convenient, and I get caps for referring you. If you need a place to stay, there's an old motel further into town. The beds there are still pretty soft, even if it's because they're full of lice. And if you're looking for some hunting, there's a fella named Plick who runs a club out in the Northeast. Strictly for high rollers, though. You're staring at it, friend. Drink it in. See the glorious boardwalk? fabled pleasure town of the sunny past, and beyond it lies the haunted swamplands. Who knows what's hidden in them? But while you get your bearings, my friend runs an excellent supply shop right here near the boardwalk. Good travels to you. Well, hello there, young traveler. The fates had told me that I would receive a visitor today. But I'm being rude. I am Madame Panada, and this is Madame Panada's House of Wares. For all things a traveler needs, I am here to provide. Bullets, stim packs, armor, weapons, junk. If you need it, Madame Panada has already anticipated your need and procured it months ago. Of course. 
course. I learned many tricks from my father. And what is it you would like to purchase? Take the greatest of care in the world, young traveler.
Oh, I knew you would return. How may Madame Panada assist you? I knew that's why you came to me. I apologize that I cannot receive you in person, Agent Zhang. Our Norfolk contact confirms your arrival. How eager the Americans are to believe that a great mind of the people would defect. Our countrymen will herald you as a hero when your work is done. To that end, let us turn to the details of your mission. This room will be your safe house in Point Lookout. Focus initially on playing the American lapdog. Do not arouse suspicion. When it is safe, use the key you were given in Norfolk to open one of the public rental lockers on the boardwalk near the motel. You will be provided with the password you'll need to access your mission debriefing. The agreed upon payment will be paid upon extraction. Haryun, Agent Chang.
audio password for my box is Nevermore. According to our latest reconnaissance report, Enclave soldiers have taken complete control of the Project Purity facility. They brutally murdered innocent scientists, including James. He went there to revive the project and died for his efforts. They will answer for their crimes. I haven't worked so hard just to sit idly by and watch the Enclave undo what little we've accomplished here. Welcome to Bencom, Secure Teller. Vocal authorization requested. Processing, processing, password verified. Voice ID, mismatch, access denied. User voice unauthorized. Access denied. The audio password for my box is Processing. Nevermore. Processing. Voice ID confirmed. Access granted.
along, please. Oh, it is... All of Madame Panada's wares are top quality.
the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Greetings, child. I'm Marcella, missionary and student of the faith. How are you? The feeling is mutual, child. I'd enjoy sharing my belief in the faith, if you'll listen. Would you like me to recite some scripture, or did you just want to know more about the faith? Of course, I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. So lovely. Selflessness like that is a rare commodity these days. I can see why that particular passage inspired her. We try to improve the state of the wasteland by doing good where we can and by spreading the word of the Bible. We also recover and restore religious relics that we can find, but that's a secondary goal. I was raised at the Abbey of the Road, where I was educated until I could receive my rights of mission. That's when I first left the Abbey. Scripture, the world as told in the Bible. Would you like to hear a verse? I'm afraid I don't have a copy of the scripture with me, but I can share a few passages. Here's one of my favorites. I tell you the truth. Whoever hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and will not be condemned. He has crossed over from death to life. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead shall rise again incorruptible, and we shall be changed. What else do you want to discuss? I'm relatively new here myself, but I'll share what I can. Hostile, in a word. I try to observe, but these swamp folk are dangerously aggressive to any outsiders. Lucky for us, they tend to keep to the swamp. Swamp folk fetishes or totems, they probably mark territorial lines or maybe are involved with rituals of some kind. I've read about a lot of primitive beliefs that use similar symbols. Voodoo magic, centuria, obeya. Fascinating, if somewhat disturbing. Though the underlying beliefs seem quite dark, I'm not sure they're anything more than an empty set of traditions to the swamp folk. Sort of. The tents were collapsed when I found them. I was able to put them back together. This one smells the least like a wet Brahmin. I restored a terminal in one of the other tents. From that, it would seem that these tents were originally put here before the war by medical workers. Right. I'm from the Abbey of the Road. I'm afraid its location is secret, however. What else do you want to discuss? Go with great care.
Daisy Dark Swamp! 